Here is another one of my favorite flowers to grow because kind of like daylilies, they're very low yeah, maintenance, they really are. but they're very showy. <laughs> they give yeah. you a lot, right? <laughs> and so this is Honeymoon Hibiscus. This is the Honeymoon series, but what's unique here is you're gonna have two colors blooming on your plants. Basically in each pot, there are two plants you're right, Jill. that are designed to grow together. So in total, in this four piece collection, Two of your containers will have red and white flowers. Two of your containers will have pink and white flowers. Mm -hmm. So you're really getting eight plants here eight plants. that are living in four pots. These are also dwarf varieties. Yes. So it's not the hibiscus that's kind of tall and leggy and going all over the place, but more compact in a shrub with just like oversized, almost Dr. Seuss-like flowers. Eight to 10 inch flowers. So they haven't lost anything in the size of the flower, just in their height, which makes them the perfect plant for containers, planting them now in borders under your front windows, Love around it. your mailboxes. Like you said, these are plants like the daylily that are uh, power perennials. They come back every year. Yes. But this is a plant to me that um, evokes memories of family vacations, mm -hmm. maybe your honeymoon mm -hmm. to Florida, Hawaii. And these are the plants that uh, you wouldn't think that you could grow because they're mostly tropical. Well, and that's the thing. These are not tropical. These are not. So sometimes when you see a tropical hibiscus, for years my husband and kids would get me one every single year. Mm -hmm. And then it was great that it was blooming all summer long, but then it was like, oh, no, I got to bring that thing in. Yeah. And usually most of the time I was you like, let's let not worry about it. Let it die. Next, and let them buy on. you a new one next year. Right. <laughs> the beauty here is I get that big, showy, oversized, tropical esque flower look in a perennial. It's going to come back year after year after year and create this beautiful flowering compact and shrub what we're looking at, that also looks great in a container. You're a beautiful in a container. What we're looking at here is the size of the typical tropical hibiscus that you buy over and over because it dies. You'd think it would be the opposite. You would. You right? really You'd would. You'd think the tropical would be the bigger ones. But it's not. They're actually smaller. And then again, these are facsimiles, but kind of giving you the idea yeah. on what the size of that flower is going to the be. The biggest flower we have on the shortest plant. These things are awesome. And you are getting four pieces. Let's go through the images. Yeah, I'd, love I'd love to, to talk see those. to the yes. photos of the real flowers so you can see what they're going to get and what they're going to do for you no matter where you live in the country. But these flowers are beautiful. They're silky. I wish you had touch a vision here so you could feel those. It's like a silk flower. I love the it's red just, eye. That is you know? the uh, honeymoon hibiscus uh, pink swirl. And look at that red eye. It's like a cherry on top yes. of vanilla ice cream swirled with raspberry. And there's your pink and white combination, That's right? The pink so and the white. you're getting two plants and on each plant you'll have a combination of pink and white flowers. Yes, two of these plants, two of this yes. variety uh -huh, mixed with the white and these um, are awesome. Look at that honeymoon red. They're luxurious, rich, saturated red. red. These are unforgettable and every good garden needs a pop of red for prosperity according to the Feng Shui Masters and they're smooth and silky and oh, I think this is my favorite and I, that's why I put them in um, all the containers, that honeymoon white. It's simply, simply thrilling. It's like a company Pretty. of white parrots that are just hanging out in your backyard. Look at those, the, the white with the red eye and then the green foliage. Here's the other thing I need to call out. This is our one day only. One day. So this is the lowest price that you're gonna see on this assortment for the entire garden season. There's not gonna be a better price on this for the amount of time that you have available to make this purchase. So $29.97, a six pay easy pay plan that is $5 a month. So really, really affordable to get these wow. at home. You can grow these almost everywhere. Do they need a freeze? They do not need a freeze. Don't need a freeze. I'm telling you, I love to grow these in San Diego because the tropical hibiscus are known for white fly. If you live in San Diego or any other place, you know what I'm talking about, but these don't attract the pests. Great. They don't attract the uh, deers. So wherever you live, you can uh, grow them. And I want to show you here. Do they you want hold full one? sun? They love the yes. hot full sun. Okay, great. So what you're getting here, um, are again uh, four pots. So each one of your pots is going to have two plants, one white with a, or two with the white and uh, red and two with the white and pink. And I'd love to show you how easy they are to plant. Great. All yep. Right. 
So again, these have already been vernalized, and I have my. So again, uh, they've already gone through a winter, so you already know, like they're ready to go, right? They're not just blooming like this for the first time; they've already done it once, gone through a winter, and now they're ready to do it for the second time. You're right. Right. Absolutely. It saves you a year of having them in your garden to get a better payoff. And I want to show you the size of the pot. Mm -hmm. Why is he holding up that pot of dirt? Because you do not need an estate. You do not need a whiskey barrel to grow these. This is just a small 14-inch uh, pot. Great. And all I'm going to do is dig a hole about four inches deep. Then I'm going to take my plant, which is very well rooted, already vernalized, just like our lavenders were. They've had their first season. And I'm going to go ahead and pot this down in. So these can be in containers. And now you can put these on your porch, your patio. Um, other places where you could never put those other uh, taller Luna varieties, Disco varieties, other varieties. They can grow. take the hot heat. They can take yes. the hot heat. Both all. Can they take a little drought? Parties. Yes, they're yes. super, super. How about coastal areas? Coastal areas would be great. Boggy, this would be a if it great, gets a little boggy, can they handle uh, that? Boggy is yes. fine as well. Okay. There's almost no place that these won't grow. Awesome. So and my coastal friends, beach areas, this is going to be a nice plant for you. Yeah. The, stem, the uh, kind of stems and stalks are mm -hmm. nice and sturdy too. They so are, if you do they? get some of those coastal breezes, um, these are not going to you know, flop over, break off. They're going to stay nice and strong. And you asked me, when are they going to bloom? Right away, the very well, first year. this already has some right there. There's some little right? buds coming up. Little buds. So from, from this to what we're looking at here yes. in 80 to 90 days, Jill. Nice. 80 to 90 days. And remember, you're getting four pots of flowers. Four pots. But in each pot, there will be a white and a red. You'll get two of those. Yes. Then your other two pots are white and pink. Yes. So you'll have this. Be and you know, white's important in the garden. White is a flower you can see in the evening time. Especially when white it's White sets off the other colors. As this, with that beautiful red eye. These are like beacons for your hummingbirds. And that huge red one also. These will draw the hummingbirds from counties away. They're like, all right, here we go. Bullseye, zoom in right in. <laughs> and now you can plant these. Notice that's a full grown plant over three years old and they're not taking over. You do not have to plant these in the back of your yard. A small little container like that, that's just 12 inch pot. Pretty. Those huge, silky, papery flowers. These and would be great in, in, you know, kind of like medium to large containers around your pool area. It would Instead be of the doing the kind of thing. hibiscus trees that, again, are patio trees, they're tropical, you have to do something with them or throw they them get out. Past, you're going to have to do something with them in the wintertime, but these come Not back. These every year. These are power perennial, is easy to grow as a daylily with a long, long season of flowers. Because these are short, Jill, mm -hmm. they're going to bloom 25% faster. That's one month sooner. These are going to be blooming in early June Great. opposed to July. And that's important because all their energy isn't growing tall. Yes, right. It's growing flowers. What do I do in the winter time? Do, do I cut these back? Do I just leave them alone? They're going to die back. You can cut them back to the ground if you like okay. and then they start coming, coming up, back up again? In, in springtime and be blooming way earlier than any other of your winter hardy hibiscus, Jill. Here's what you need to know. 2,000 of these have already been requested. We're busy on the phones. This is the lowest price you're going to see on these for the entire gardening season. There will not be a lower price on these um, in May or June or July or August or September. We're not offering no. plants then. No. So this is the lowest price of the season. You're getting four plants, but each contain four containers, I should yes. say, but each container has two plants because the reason you're able to get a pink and a white or a red and a white is because a red plant and a white plant have been put in the pot together. That's right. uh, they'll do fine together. As we've talked about, they're wonderful in your containers. Yes. You can put these in the ground. They're great flowering shrubs. So if you have some areas where you want more of a kind of a, a bush or a shrub or a hedge, you're going to have that here with this. They'll be fine in coastal areas. They're fine Super. in if hot you, areas. If you have a, uh, uh, a vacation home in a coastal area. You want to, when you go to get a weekend off to yes. go and relax, you want to have that color yes. there without having someone coming to maintain it. And that's why you want these because they're totally carefree. They'll be blooming without uh, any supervision, without a lot of food. The growing guide and our Gotta Grow guarantee is included, Jill, with every single purchase, especially with these. And there's uh, four plants, eight different uh, uh, four, four pots, yes, yes, four containers. You know, I'm glad you're here. And it's been, we were here early, early this morning, and eight different plants. But look at these; these would make a beautiful hedge. Yes. You know, I can now plant these under 
Can you imagine uh, having these here in Westchester, Pennsylvania, uh, instead of Arborvitae or Boxwoods in front, have a whole hedge Using of these. these? Yes. Wouldn't your home stand out? It would be like going to a uh, vacation at a tropical resort yes. and walking outside for your balcony and uh, you know, walking out to the beach and passing these flowers and you're saying, yeah. hello, welcome to paradise. <laughs> hello, I'm so happy to see you today. And you're doing it in your slippers and your bathrobe and it's your own house. And it's your own house. <laughs> I love that. Yes. Here again, we're just showing you images of what the pink looks like. The pink is actually kind of a pink and white swirl, which is really pretty, but it's going to be potted, cherry on top. <laughs> potted with white flowers. Mm -hmm. So again, you have pink and white in the pink, but then you'll get that beautiful white. Um, you'll see a smaller container here. And and look not just only at what's blooming there, but look at how many blooms are getting ready You're to right, explode Jill. in that pot. Yes, right? these are powerhouse uh, of flowers here. You're gonna get tons of these large, super large flowers. These are truly special. I would not have a garden without these. My niece Stephanie is dying to come in and tell you a quick little memory. Oh, come on out. Hey, Hi, Stephanie. Up. <laughs> well, I just wanted to say, you know, my father, he planted these in our front yard when I was really young. They come back every year, and this is probably the one flower that makes me think of home. They're so large and memorable. I love them as a child. My niece Anya, she loves to come over and see these. So really plant them where, you know, your kids or your grandkids can come and really just take a a look and just enjoy these beautiful large flowers. Yeah. Stephanie told me that of all the plants and flowers that she grew up with, you know, her whole life, yes. uh, this is the one that she remembers the most. Yeah. In the yard. It's true. Wow, yeah. that's Stephanie. cool. Thanks, yeah. Stephanie. And Thank Stephanie's going to be back in a little bit. We have Gerber daisies to talk about yeah. with her um, and some other things too. So if you're on the line here, I'll remind you, this is our one day only. It's the lowest price you're going to find. You're getting four plants, again, for less than $8 a piece, four containers, really eight plants, right? Because each pot is going to have two plants on the inside. Yes. So two of the pots that you receive will have a mixture of red and white together. Two of the pots that you receive will have pink and white together. But this is also the best easy pay that QVC offers. And it's one of the only items of this entire two hour show where that six pay easy pay plan is in effect. Wow. It's $5 a month. You're getting wow. these within the month. You're planting them. You will be enjoying blooms. For those of you that are gonna be getting them straight away, you might start seeing them you know, as early as the beginning of June. Most yes. of you will have these starting to bloom throughout the month of June. And then they just keep powering through July, August, September, October. October. Really up to the first or second very heavy frost. And another thing that's important about these varieties of winter hardy hibiscus is that they are the newest and the greatest. They're only two to three foot tall. And Roberta's, along with QVC, are the only place in the United States that you can get them as growing plants. Nice. Uh, otherwise, I have seen online, and I, I check every time, you can find some red seeds, but who wants to grow from seeds? Yeah. And you cannot find the whites and the pink. So okay. this is an exclusive Unique. offer. Yes. I wouldn't have a garden without them because now you can plant these, a whole row of them, around the front of your house, the side, anywhere you have a lot of sun, around your mailbox. Uh, oh, the mailbox, you, that's a good idea. Why not? Like that. Yeah, why not? Nice. And put these on your porch, around your uh, poolside patio, at your vacation homes where you don't have time, you know, or don't want to spend the money to have someone gardening for you while you're gone. But these are great containers. Put these on your sunny uh, decks, and you will enjoy these not only this year, but every year thereafter, because these are power perennials. They come back every year with no effort. And remember, this is not a tropical hibiscus. That's what Court was speaking to. These are a winter hardy hibiscus. Winter so hardy. So they're coming back year after year. You're gonna enjoy these. They're not gonna be overwhelming in their size or scale. And as you said, they're not using all of their energy to grow tall. No. They're staying more compact because so they can all, be robust. You're right, these are compact, only growing two to three feet tall. They're fast growing winter hardy plants that can bloom in not 80 days uh, the very first year you'll have flowers on your plant and then every year thereafter they're going to be coming back with flowers 25 percent quicker than any other winter hardy hibiscus that you've ever 